Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Theory Sorrow Imagey, as I stand and fight, and I'm back with more Until Dawn. And, well, last episode, the last chapter, it was pretty crazy. Okay, because Mike, I mean, not Mike, Matt and Emily, they were on their way to the fire tower, finally got there, called, called for help, and they did it just in time before something something uh, made the tower fall down and Matt made it to safety well well we don't know what happened with Emily I don't know if she died I hope she didn't die I mean you may think oh well she's just a little bitch or something like that but actually she's she's I mean as of late she's been she's been on a roll with being pretty good on her feet and all that she's been out there. So that happened and then Chris and Chris and Ashley were on their pursuit to find Sam because they don't know where she was where she is because you know I mean she was in there when all that stuff with the psycho went down and they found Sam who was like in a chair and they, and they were wondering how they can get her out, but until the psycho basically got them knocked out, then they went into another saw trap, saying that Chris can either shoot himself, shoot Ashley, or he never said this, but you can't do this, do nothing, and I chose to do nothing, so. But I don't know what the fate for them will do, so. I'm going to go ahead and continue to chapter 7. Let's do this. We haven't seen Mike in a while. <clears throat> Creeper. Seven violence. Let's get it. Oh, she has, uh, like a, I think, scrapes on her knees. I'm using the machete, because he saved it. Concerned, where's Jessica? Or curious, how did you get down here? How about the concern? Where's Jessica? Okay, convenient. 
Apparently the psycho left all my stuff. How convenient! Locked. Okay, let me just check the status. Terrible. Oh, she went up a bit. Oh, whoa. She, you know, she went up with Mike and Jessica. But Jess is really close to, like, the Josh, where Josh is. <coughs> but out of everyone, she really likes Josh. Oh, yeah, she went up on Charitable, too, so... That's how you go. <laughs> okay. I think she does a little bit too. Just look at her. What are you doing? <coughs> well, actually, the television turned out to be messed up. Everybody left early in the afternoon. Do you mind? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he wants. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that'd be too appreciative for her to look. He's trying to peek. Trying to peek at her boobs. Okay. That's that. That's that. What? Is that Chris? Oh, okay. What's going on? Got it. <coughs> wow, I can't believe I totally didn't miss that. Is there another one? in time. <coughs> she hears something. now appears to be in the mines. Oh, 
Nothing there. What? What's there? Oh, it's a mine cart. That almost looks like that same very one that Mike and Jessica were in. When Jess accidentally fell down there. <coughs> Jesus, this is that creepy, yo. <laughs> but wow, I... Although, to be honest, I totally knew it was going to be Josh. The maniac. I knew it was going to be Josh. It's locked. So, it looks like I have to do something over here. I think. Over here. First, I feel like that has to have to. Is there anything else over here that I can look at? I mean, nope. I'm gonna look like it, so I'll check that one particular area. <clears throat> Minor photo. Oh, on reverse, the blasting crew preparing to dynamite the new shafts. Northwest Mines, December 1951. Okay, so it looks like there's some mining crew that were down here. We finally got that cart moving and move that out of the way.